Hello, welcome to Ride as Rain Crochet. Today's tutorial is on these little mushroom guys. Um, this pattern is from Critter Stitch. Um, I'll have the link to the Etsy pattern to this below if you would like it. Um, this is both, these are both done in with a two millimeter hook and turned out two different size because one is like a finger weight and one is more of a baby cotton weight. As you can see, it was the same stitches. Um, it was the same everything, but the eyes are smaller, of course, because it's smaller. Um, exact same pattern. But today what we're gonna do, because it is so much easier to view, cotton splits also really easy when you're crocheting with it, it'll split and it's difficult to record to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a regular worsted weight yarn and I'm gonna use a three millimeter hook. And I'll set these aside and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, thanks for joining Right as Rain Crochet. Um, we're going ahead and we're gonna make our uh, limbs first. I really like to try to crochet one consecutive piece if it's humanly possible. So that's what I try to do with just about every pattern. So if you have the pattern, there is gonna be just a little bit um, of difference um, than the pattern is, but you can probably still follow along. So let's go ahead and start with the um, two arms we're going to make. I'm going to start with a magic ring and six single crochets in the magic ring. Okay, there's our six. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go straight to a single crochet increase um, round that is gonna bring us to nine. Try to tuck your yarn if you can. Um, as you can see, I have uh, my stitch marker, my string, the extra string. If it's too much, I, everybody understands. <laughs> So we're gonna single crochet in, and then do an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're gonna do this um, pattern, two, in, I'm sorry, one single crochet increase. And we're gonna do that all the way around, having a total of nine stitches. and an increase. Okay, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna do three rounds of nine single crochets. Um, so we're not um, doing any more increasing right now. Three rounds of our nine single crochets. I will meet you back um, after that. Here we are together with three more rounds of three rounds of single crochet, nine each. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reduce. So we're gonna do um, a single crochet and an invisible decrease. Single crochet, invisible decrease, go in the front loop of the first, front loop of the second stitch, pull through, and then finish your single crochet. Again, a single crochet and then a decrease, front loop, Front loop, pull it through, grab the yarn, pull it through. Single crochet, and a decrease. And now we should have a total of six stitches again. And then we're gonna do one round of six single crochets. I'm getting in the right stitch. One. Two. Three. Four. 
four. Five. And as you can see, I'm folding it and, and just watching what, what I'm grabbing. That's the easiest when it gets that small for me. Um, that's how I need to do that. So we single crocheted all the way around. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and pull out our stitch marker. Chain one. And let's go ahead and turn and fold this hand so that our chain one is at the very side. We're just going to go ahead and fold it. And we're going to make three single crochets up here at the top, sealing this together. One, two, three. All right, now you can cut your yarn. You can actually sew in your ends because the way that we do this, um, we're not going to need to... Um, so all we, the only thing we have to sew on in this whole project is going to be that hat when we get done with that mushroom top. So go ahead now and uh, rewind, make you a second hand, and then we'll be starting on the feet um, once we uh, meet back up together. Good luck. Good deal. We should have two hands done, and now we are going to be working on our legs, slash feet, stubs, whatever we want to call them. I'm going to start with the magic ring. We're going to single crochet six. Six, very nice. We are going to increase in all six, so we will have 12 single crochets. Tuck your yarn. I got nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very nice. We can pull this tight. If you had uh, hid your yarn, you can cut that down and get it out of your way so you're not messing with it anymore. Or you can keep crocheting it in until it can't be crocheting anymore. That's up to you. Now we're going to single crochet around back loop only. So, move out of the way. So we are going to be going into this back here. We have our front loop and a back loop. So we're going to go in between the stitch and we're going to go around 12 times. Put it right in between the stitch, not underneath that V that we're used to doing. Okay, all the way around, back loop only. Okay, now we're going to um, single crochet 12 again, but this is going to be um, through both loops. Um, so go ahead and just do a standard single crochet 12 all the way around. Then when you're done, go ahead and go back to the beginning of the foot and make us a second foot. This first foot, when you're completed, you can sew in all the ends. On um, your second foot, do not cut your yarn like we did on the hands. Keep your yarn attached. We're going we're gonna to connect the two legs um, with crochet. All right, there's that 12. And this foot of mine is now done. And I will go ahead and do a second. I'll meet you back here um, when the second one is finished and complete.
We are back together with two arms and two legs. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and crochet these two legs together. So chain one and connect to the other side with a single crochet. We are gonna come back to this stitch right here, this first single crochet. And we are going to, we do not want, we do want a single crochet when we come around to this side of the chain stitch. So we want a single crochet in that. Um, so we are going to be doing a total of 26 stitches. So that was one, two, three, Okay, there's 12. That was the original foot, correct? We had 12. Then we want to go ahead and crochet in this chain space. You're just going to have to find a place to dig it in there. It's not the easiest spot to grab, so just find something to grab onto. And there's a single crochet. So now we're at 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and the chain space is 26 stitches. Good job, everybody. Very good job. Now we're going to just, uh, we're going to do five rounds of 26 single crochets. So we're really going to be bringing this body up. So five rounds um, of 26 single crochets, and I'll meet you when you get done with the five rounds. Here we are back together again, and we got a little bit of legs and pants going on here. So what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to start decreasing. So we're, this is just going to be one decrease, 11 stitches, one decrease, 11 stitches. Decrease, that's one, two, nine, 10, 11, decrease. And 11. You should have 24 stitches. We are now going to do two rounds of 24 stitches. I will meet you back here at the end of the two rounds of 24 single crochets. Two rounds of 24 stitches is complete. We're going to decrease on this round and we're going to do two single crochet decrease all the way around and that is going to get us our stitch count back down to eight 18 and then after that we're going to do two rounds of 18 stitches so right now is two single crochet decrease and then two rounds of 18 stitches i will see you back here Okay, we're back around. Now we're going to decrease and we're going to do two single crochet 
decrease all the way around. And that is going to eat, put us at 18 stitches. Then we are going to do two rounds of 18 stitches. And I will meet you back here when you finish your two single crochet decrease and two rounds of 18 stitches. Now we're ready to stuff. Okay, so let's, before we reduce again and can't really get in here, let's go ahead and get some stuffing. I like to pull mine like this so that when I push it down, it's not in chunks. I can actually push just a little bit of, a bit of it at a time. And I'm gonna get my back of my hook and just push this down, make sure that my feet um, have got, my legs are stuffed good. And I stuffed this guy pretty good. I want him nice and a little chunky guy. So um, we're just gonna keep going. And then as we, um, as we move on, um, just keep crochet or keep stuffing up until where you can crochet and it's not um, actually gonna get caught in the stitches. If you overstuff, make sure that you are using your hand here and tucking that stuffing in. It really looks so bad when it gets pulled out like that and it's so hard to get um, trimmed off as well. So we got some stuffing in there, we're doing good. Um, we have 18 stitches. Let's go ahead and do a single crochet um, decrease. Single crochet decrease all the way around. All right, we're back around with our decreases. And now what, what we're gonna do on this, this will be a round of single crochets of 12 single crochets. Um, we are going to attach the arms to the body right now. So um, what we wanna do is get crochet up to the side. We are gonna use three stitches. We, we did three single crochets. So when you get up there, I, I cannot give you, I can give you a count, but I don't want um, if you moved it, if you're over one or different, then your arms are crooked. You just take the time and look at it and find out where you want that arm to be. So I would just go ahead and start crocheting. Since it's all single crochets, I'm not having to count. Um, I double checked my, my counts before I moved forward. And then I'm going to get to the side here and just kind of look at um, where I want this arm to sit. So that would be those three stitches there. And that looks fine. Is So when I go around though, then I'm gonna line this up so it looks, again, on the same here because it is a little bit closer to this side. So it kind of looks more like this will be my front um, as I go around. But we can see that um, when we get to that side and see how we feel. So um, let's go ahead and put our hook through the first single crochet and go ahead and just crochet and make sure you get that nice and tight, guys. If it won't get tight, then there we go. Now I can get in there. We don't want no, no hanging going on. So there's one. I'm gonna do it again. We'll do it in the next one. Two, and one more time at the corner of our arm and make that three. And then let's single crochet over to the other side where we feel we would like our arm. These are going to stick straight out like this. That is okay. The collar comes on and it will actually bring it down. Um, so you don't have to worry about it sticking out like that um, if you don't like that anyway. So it shouldn't. So I've got three stitches left. Let me just look at um, how I'm feeling. Go ahead and move this. I think I'm going to turn that one this way. And one, two, three. Three. Actually, that, that looks pretty good to me. How about you guys? I can't even tell if you're agreeing with me. Hopefully you guys are figuring it out and everything's going smooth enough for you. But this way we're not, we're, we don't have to sew the arms on later. So it takes a little bit of thinking at this part, but you don't got to worry about having your arms crooked because you can count the stitches in between your arms and, um, and know that you got them even if you wanted them exactly even or uh, both of them facing t towards um, the front. So that way you can have some consistency. 
And once we do this, we're like completely done with our arms and our feet now. Isn't that just nifty as all get out? It's wonderful. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our head from here. And by doing this, we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crochet our head um, actually like on backwards and um, just our head is gonna grow right from this. So now that we got the arms on, we can go ahead and put some more stuffing in here. Um, it does help crocheting when it's smaller like this, uh, if it is full, because it um, helps you be able to grab that stitch better uh, with your crochet hook. Again, if you overstuff it, make sure like this, I wanna make sure that I'm tucking that as I as I crochet around. So let's go ahead and do one more row of 12 single crochets. And this is actually going up now. This 12 single crochets would actually be in the head is what we would consider that. Um, so go ahead and do 12 around and I'll meet you back here and we'll go through the next couple steps. There we are, 12 all the way around. This is great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a single crochet increase round, a two single crochet increase round, three single crochet increase round. And I will meet you back after you've completed those three rounds. One single crochet increase, one two single crochet increase, and around one two three single crochet increase around. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we have 12 stitches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a single crochet increase round, two single crochet increase round, three single crochet increase around. I'll start off here. So it's that's one single crochet and then I will do an increase. one single crochet, increase. Then your next round will be two, the next round will be three. I'll meet you at the end of that. Completed that. Now we're gonna go ahead, we should have 30 stitches, and we're gonna go ahead and crochet all the way around 30 single crochets. Okay, we're back around, we did our um, our round of 30, now we're going to do four single crochets increase, two, three, four, increase, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we did our four single crochet increase, we made it all the way around. We now have a total of 36 stitches, so we're going to go ahead and do a row of uh, just a round of 36 uh, single crochets, no increase or decrease. All right, we made our 36 around. This looks a little different than how I left you just a second ago, isn't it? Well, I found out that part of the video, how to get the eyes on, got um, missed or deleted or something. So anyway, I'm trying to throw this back in here so you guys aren't confused or lost. We did just finish 36 single crochets around. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to be placing where we want our eyes. The best thing to do is to take your little critter and go ahead and bring up, of course this one's complete, but bring up your hook to that spot that's going to be the center. And I'm just gonna have to show you guys on this, I'm, I apologize. You do not want the center to land in a stitch. You want it in between the stitches. So um, we're gonna have eight um, stitches in between the two eyes. So once you find the center, go ahead and go over four stitches. One, two, three, four. And we're going to place the stitch marker in. And then we can go ahead and just count eight. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and put us a stitch marker 
in this spot for the other eye. And now what we're going to do is we're going to crochet. It's still going to be 36, but we're going to do something a little different when you get to the stitch marker. Um, and I apologize, this look is looking a lot different than I left you. Um, but I guess it's better to catch it like this and to not have it in the video at all. And people are messaging me asking what the heck was I supposed to do in those two rounds. So we're going to crochet up to, of course your body would be underneath you and we're, but we're making it work. So when we get to the eyes here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, skip that one that we have the stitch marker in, and then proceed to single crochet. And we're going to do that on the other side as well. If you plan on using really little eyes, you may just want to put the stitch marker, uh, move the stitch marker up one um, and put it through. You have to do about an eight millimeter hook uh, or hook, geez, eight mil chain one, skip one and crochet around eight millimeter high eyes for them not to pop through. So if you wanted really little eyes, then you probably should just move your move your stitch markers up when you get to them so you know where you want the eyes to be. I like this one because it just makes it so much easier for me um, to put my uh, eyes through. It doesn't stretch my yarn or um, I don't end up having a hard time trying to poke it through. Okay, so that was 36 stitches, 34 plus two chains, which is gonna equal our 36. Then we're gonna go ahead and go around one more time at 36 stitches. When you come around, make sure that you remember to crochet in this chain space here and this stitch that is really close to that chain space. This gets missed a lot. Um, so make sure you don't miss either of these two stitches. Um, the chain space, you can just crochet into the chain. That's perfectly fine. And then go ahead and grab this stitch here and do another 36 stitches around. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round of 36 and um, I will be able to jump back to the other video um, so that we can catch back up together again. Remember there's one more stitch right there it's hard to find when you get that when you put that stitch in the slip stitch. Um, so I'll finish this off. I will put my eyes in. I will um, pull out, pull that out. I'll meet you back at the original video. We finished that round. I went ahead and got my eyes in there, pulled those stitch markers out. They pop right in. I put the backs in. If you do not melt, I melt my eyes and then I push them down with the back of the lighter. That way, this will not pop off, um, and you're pretty safe to be able to give this um, these kind of toys when you do that the, to the eyes, um, not being worried about a baby having it. So what we're gonna do now, and I'm gonna leave you guys with quite a bit of work. Um, I'm not gonna waste this time in the video when you guys are gonna get the gist of it. We're gonna start with four single crochets and then a decrease. Once again, first loop, front loop of the second stitch, bring it through and finish your single crochet. You are gonna repeat four single crochet decrease all the way around. Then I want you to do three single crochet decrease, two single crochet decrease, and one single crochet decrease. Stuff as you go. Don't forget to get the neck really well so it's well supported. And I'm gonna meet you guys back here when you have 12 stitches left and your head is stuffed nicely. Did you guys make it? I hope so. Okay, so we are down to um, 12 stitches and we wanna go ahead and make sure that we are stuffed really well. Make sure you turn your finger and bring that padding and like pull up here. Your shape is already there. The thing is if we don't stuff it, it's a fine line between overstuffing and between not stuffing enough. We should not see stuffing in between our stitches. We should not, it should look nice. Get those eyes popped out really well. 
Now, when you guys, when we are crocheting any project where we're going to go ahead and just crochet the head right onto the body like this, when you're reducing, you need to be very aware that you keep your stitches tight. Um, typically, this time, it doesn't make a difference. That's because a hat is going on this. His mushroom top is going on the top of his head. But it's just something to be aware of. If you guys have this project, again, to make sure you keep a lot of tension on your stitches. Right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a decrease all the way around. So you should have six decreases with six stitches left. And I will meet you at the end and we'll go ahead and get uh, started on our cap. And I'll show you how to um, fix the very end of his head. Um, again, you, nobody's seeing it, but um, it's nice to know how to do it. So um, I will meet you back here in just a couple stitches. Okay, so you still have this little teeny hole of six stitches. So go ahead and cut your yarn um, and pull it through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this look so, so good. So what we want to do is we want to um, grab, get my yarn on here, got boogered up. Okay, and we're going to go through the front loop of all of the stitches. And you, they're really prominent. They're the ones that are like sitting right there. So don't stab in downward. Just grab that top one there. Let's do that six times. Pull it through. And you'll always know you got your last one. It's always, it's sticking way up like this. Every time you do it, it sticks straight up that last stitch. Let's go ahead and get six. You cinch it. Pop it in. I take the needle, go right down to the center. And let's get it out of the body somewhere, anywhere. Don't split when you're coming out. Don't split your yarn. Try to make sure it is in a gap um, so that you can put it right back through again. So we'll weave that in. And see, I may not even have stuffed him enough, but we'll see when his hat gets on. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and trim that up. And we're going to get, um, the body is now done. How nice, huh? So now we're going to do is go ahead and get our color for that you want the actual um, mushroom top to be. Um, oh, you know what? Let's start with this one. Let's get our necklace out of the way. So whatever color you want um, this ruffle to be, uh, let's go ahead and do this ruffle first. Then we will move to the hat and then this netting that's underneath. So grab your yarn and I'll meet you back here for the ruffle. Okay, our ruffle is pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and chain 15. Fourteen, fifteen. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we are going to increase 13 times all the way back down this. So that's two single crochets in each of these stitches. I will meet you there when you're done and we can turn. Here we are at the end. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch and yes it's supposed to be getting curly like this it makes it a little difficult this second round just keep unraveling it as you go and you're going to go ahead and you're going to increase in all of the stitches down um, if you want if you can grab this tail here and get it up you can go ahead and just incorporate that in your increase and that is the underside anyway and you don't have to weave that in one less thing to do and I will see you at the end of um, of the increases there is no set I mean there is a set count but it's not necessary we're just increasing to make it um, curl like this so don't worry about going back and counting just try your best to get two single crochets in each stitch all the way to the end
All right, we're back around and we got our little twirly twirl. So let's go ahead, go ahead and cut your yarn and pull it through and we'll go ahead and just get this on um, our little mushroom critter here. So what you're gonna do is just try to straighten it out and get it around the neck and make sure that it is not twisted anywhere. But see how that folds up? Pretty cute, huh? So now what we'll do is we'll just take this tail we have left and we're gonna crochet or we're just gonna stitch to this other side here. And this way we can grab at the bottom real nice and tight and then come back up the top and just um, go ahead and get this put on really well. Okay, and then after this, we are going to move on to the mushroom cap. So um, go ahead and figure out what color or go ahead and get your color and get ready and we will start doing um, our mushroom, the top of our mushroom. All right, we're back and ready for our mushroom. Um, I'm gonna go through this quickly as well. I'm trying to just keep your video down. Um, magic ring, six single crochets increase so we'll have 12 single crochets and then do a single crochet around of 12 single crochets so we got two six Get some light so you guys can see. I know it's dark, but this kind of works a little bit better. So, um, and now we're doing our increase. I got, there's 10, I'm gonna do my last 11 and 12. And then go ahead and crochet all the way around for 12 single crochets. And I'll see you back here at the end of that. Okay, we made it around with our 12 single crochets. And now I'm gonna have you guys um, kind of work on your own for a while because you guys know how to do this already. We're going to do a single crochet increase then two single crochet, three single crochet, four, five, and six. So I will meet you guys back here after you have moved your, worked your way all the way up to six single crochet increase, and I will meet you there. Good job, people. We made it around. You should have finished um, increase six single crochet row. Now what we're doing, we should have 48. Let's go ahead and do 48 single crochets all the way around. All right, here we are, good job. Now we're gonna go ahead and do seven single crochet increase round, and that will leave us with 54 stitches. And then we're gonna do two rounds of 54 single crochets. So I will meet you back at the end of these three rounds, do a seven increase, and then two rounds of 54 stitches. And I will meet you back. And we will be at the end of our cap. So when you finish that, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. All right, we're ready to go. Look at our cute little mushroom. Very cute. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that webbing that's up underneath that hooks to um, the head. So let's go ahead and attach our, um, I do the same color as my, um, my Nick band, but whatever color you want to be on the inside of your mushroom. And we're gonna start by we're going to chain two. This two is counting as a double crochet. So then we wanna proceed and do three more double crochets with a total of four.
Okay, and what we're gonna do now is a invisible double crochet, two together, decrease. <laughs> a lot of words to say. We're gonna go ahead and wrap our yarn. Let's go in the front of this first stitch, the front of the second stitch, pull it through. This is just what we're used to doing with the single crochet, but we're gonna pull through two times. There's one and that's two. Great. So now we're gonna do four double crochets again. And four. And then we're going to go ahead, let me see if I can get us a little closer for this um, decrease. We're going to do the double crochet invisible decrease, yarn over, go through the front loop, the front loop, bring it through, pull through two, pull through two. And again, four double crochets. Repeat this around four double crochets and the two double crochet decrease all the way around. And I will stay here for a little bit if you needed to see the decrease one more time. Come on, one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do our decrease. So we're going to wrap our yarn, go through the first loop, go through the second stitches, first loop, grab the yarn, pull it through. Hopefully our guys are having a little bit better time than I am. Pull through two, pull through two. There we go. And I will see you guys around on the other side. I hope you guys all made it around and we look like this. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch. Remember that chain is a stitch, so slip stitch to the top of the chain, slide that over, and let's chain up two again. This time around, that is counting as a double crochet, and this time around we're going to do um, one double crochet, one double crochet decrease, one decrease, one decrease. So this counts as our one, so we're gonna go straight into a decrease, double crochet, one, two, and one regular double crochet, and one double crochet invisible decrease. I will meet you at the end of that round. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and go around one more time with single crochets. Um, you should have 30, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. We were decreasing. You can go ahead and cut all your strings, and um, I'll meet you back here for the final uh, put together. Okay, we're back, and look, we have our mushroom hat. Everything is great. What you can do is, if you would like, you can stitch in these little tees um, on your hat um, just sporadically. There's no rhyme or reason to it if you would like to do that. Um, this is one that uh, doesn't have any, any of that on it. That's up to you, of course. Um, so uh, go ahead and do that if you want. And then you're just going to place your hat on. And his hat is actually going to sit back pretty far on his head. The biggest part that you want to look at is where this is going to sit once this thing is tucked in. Right? And how far down. That's what you need to do. I start like this, okay? And I figure out where I want this to land. Sometimes you might want it down way far like that so he's barely looking over the top of you, and then find where that part is and pin it. Always start with this head part here because it helps you then be able to adjust the rest of the hat. And I kind of bring it over here like so. 
And then I'll grab this in and try to bring it over just a little bit so it's equal. Okay, and I can now look at how it's going to fold. So I'm not liking that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep playing with this until I get this where I want this to sit. So I'll try again. Now, if you, you do not have to sew this, um, the mushroom hat on, but it, it sits weird, so it doesn't sit like a regular hat would sit. So it will be very odd um, for, for somebody to pull it off. They actually probably won't put it back on the way that it needs to be on so that, um, so that it looks right. So I would suggest doing that, um, is going ahead and sewing it on so it stays in the place. And it, you give the look you want, whether you want lots of eyes showing, um, or them, those little eyes just hiding behind how much of your pink you want sticking out. Do you want it to sit out like that? This is where you're going to be able to do that. You can put a little stuffing up here if you would like. Um, I actually have found that it doesn't work very well putting stuffing in. It just makes it too tall. Um, so, but now we you sew that in and we are complete. So this is one of those projects that looks much cuter the smaller it gets, right? So let's get back up here a little bit and look at this. So here's our um, worsted weight yarn. This is our baby, I was playing with that hat. There's the baby cotton. And then this is the small like finger weight. Um, they just are cuter. Like this would be my middle point though. I would probably go with, um, using a, um, a baby cotton because it's still cute, but it doesn't take so long to do. From this one, this is the quickest one. The four, the worsted rate yarn is your fastest. Um, and then you can add about 25% time the smaller you get. Um, cotton just has a tendency to split when you're crocheting, um, so that's time consuming. Um, and you've got a lot, a lot less room. And then, of course, once you get a little smaller, those six each around seem pretty darn tight. And just getting the magic circles started, it, it's a tight job. It's a very focused job. It's not, um, definitely don't have as much room to work as you do with this, um, the worsted weight four ply. But this just kind of gives you guys an idea of how each size is going to look, um, the different things that you can do. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and made a cute little mushroom dude. Um, like always, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.